Hi boys and girls, it's me, Mrs. Gillardi, and today is Friday. Do you remember what that means? Friday is the day that we take our spelling test. Now, you've been practicing your words all week long, and you might be saying, Mrs. Gillardi, I didn't practice my words, but yes, you have. You've been practicing all week long because each of the activities that you had to do this week helped you learn your words. When you cut and sorted and pasted your words, you practiced. When you wrote your letters, tiny, normal, and huge, you practiced. And when you wrote your letters, bubble or block, you practiced. So you did all this practice with your words and now you're ready for your spelling test. Now you might think, I don't know if I'm ready for that spelling test yet. What can I do? Well, there's a few things that you can do. You can go and ask someone in your home to ask you to spell the spelling words. Hand them your paper for tiny, normal, huge, and say, can you make me spell these words or, and listen to me spell these words so that I can get a good grade on my test? Another thing that you can do is go back out of this video and click on your lion, monkey, or hippo room. Go back in there and check out the whiteboard. The whiteboard has all of those words written down and you can look at the whiteboard and practice spelling. Notice the things that those words have in common. Maybe they're in the same word families. Maybe they have the same beginning letter or letters. Remember what your sword is all about, okay? So maybe it's the same two word families. Maybe it is the beginning blend or the beginning digraph. You need to um, just take a look at those words and it might help you spell them, okay? Maybe you wanna write them one more time right before you start taking the test. And that those are all great ideas to help you get a better, uh, easier time taking your spelling test. Now, what you need to do is going to Spell and City. If you click out of this video, go, uh, click on the screen that has Spelling City. And when you open it up, it should take you right to your Just Right Sort spelling test, okay? So whether you're a monkey or a lion or a hippo, your test will be right there and it'll be um, just right for you, okay? Now, boys and girls, I will see you back here on Monday, but Monday we won't be doing a new spelling list because the next week is short because of Thanksgiving. So I'm kind of excited about that. But on Monday, what we're gonna be talking about are consonants and vowels. Yep, we're talking about the kinds of letters in the alphabet. So we're gonna be um, doing an activity about that on Monday and I'm really excited about it. So why don't you rest up, have a great weekend, and good luck on that spelling test. Bye-bye.